It's the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, November 25th. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather cooler for the weekend and next week, wet and stormy for a change. How about that? Let's go in there and check things out today. Water vapor satellite view. A little wave passing north of the state that will be pulling down cooler air for the weekend. And this morning, numbers are all over the board. You got Gadsden at 36, Huntsville at 51. Birmingham at 42, another example of how this is not really a one-number place on a fairly calm morning. And we note we have a dense fog advisory for parts of the state. Uh, Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden involved in that. The visibility down to a fraction of a mile in spots, but once that fog burns off, the day will be pretty nice. You can see uh, those dense fog advisories in effect for other parts of the southeastern states as well. But again, uh, the sky becomes partly sunny once the fog burns off and uh, temperatures in the 60s. Convective outlook. This is day three, Sunday. Some thunder possible across the nation's heartland. And this is Monday, day four. A risk of severe weather for Louisiana and some of the adjacent states. And again, at this point, no risk defined beyond that on into Tuesday. But certainly, we're going to see some rain next week. In fact, look at this. Haven't seen a map like that in a couple of months. Uh, this is the rain for the next seven days, valid through Friday morning of next week, and this is suggesting rain amounts of four to five inches for North Alabama. That will punch the drought in the gut. It's not going to break the drought, but boy, it's going to uh, take a hit next week if this verifies, and we think it will. Uh, and then uh, rain amounts down to about one inch in South Alabama. And here's a look at Otto. And you know, I was wrong. I said this thing gets a new name when it crosses over. That is incorrect. Uh, they've changed that. Now it's, uh, it keeps the name. So it's come across Central America. It's now in the Pacific. It keeps the name Otto. And it will likely dissipate over open water next week. So model fans, here we go. The GFS, the 06C run at noon today. A little wave north of the state. And again, uh, partly to mostly sunny. Yesterday we were in the 70s. Today we'll be in the 60s with a, a north breeze. Tomorrow, Iron Bowl Saturday. What a beautiful fall day. Start the day in the 30s. The high will be around 60. Um, and that's fairly close to average. We should be in the low 60s this time of the year, but just a beautiful, beautiful day for the biggest football game in the state. As a 1030 high moves in from the west. Sunday morning will be cold. Many spots will start the day at freezing. Colder pockets go in the 20s. The high will be in the 60s. We note that uh, surface low east of Denver. And then Monday, that surface low is over Minnesota with a uh, trailing band of uh, showers and storms in the front. And again, this is the difference. On Monday, the gulf is wide open and the higher dew points will be streaming in here. And that's something that the last few waves haven't had with the pattern flip last week. We've had multiple waves, but with no moisture. Got a wave next week with moisture. It's going to be a big difference. Monday night, showers will likely begin as the surface low moves up into Canada. And this is Tuesday. The front is on through, and I say it's on through. It's actually going to stop. And you know what's going to happen? A wave is going to form on that sucker. This is Wednesday. We are still wet. So understand, we're going to be in rain at times Monday night, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And again, this should be a very good rain event. And, and the good news, this is really not a severe weather look. You know, at first we had uh, the models kind of flashing the chance of severe storms. Well, now they've kind of backed off on that and suggesting more of a rain event. And that's just perfect. And then finally, Thursday of next week, everything is out. We'll check the European just for consistency's sake. This is Monday night and it's very wet. Uh, and, the, and I'll say this now, the surface low is farther to the south, and this might be a deal where strong storms could be setting up for Monday night, maybe with strong gusty winds. And then Tuesday, the front creeps on to the east and south, but on Wednesday, it backs up, and here comes more rain with that wave. So both the, uh, both the global models are showing a wave on the front with a multiple-day good soaking rain event next week. We could all throw a big party. That's awesome. This is a week from today. This is Friday, the 2nd of December. Good trough in the southwest United States, but we're in a very dry air mass, and the low would be in the 30s and the high around 60, very seasonal. This is the end of the forecast period, Sunday, December 4th. The, the southwestern low kind of drops to the south over Baja on this run, 
And uh, that's going to make a big, big difference in our weather. Will it lift out or drop south like that? There's a trough north of the state, and this is suggesting maybe some rain for south Alabama, but confidence out here is pretty low. Thought we'd check the QPF for the next 10 days off the GFS. Wow. That's uh, Birmingham with four inches of rain. Uh, that's pretty darn remarkable. We can celebrate that map. And, of course, your number is going to vary, but the confidence in a multiple-day rain event next week is very high. And, again, the European guidance. Uh, this is the ensemble mean for 45 days, not predicting specific weather events, but based on the pattern. And, again, that just looks really good for us in December. Temperatures, we warm up a little bit before that rain early next week, highs around 70, and after the rain, highs in the 50s and lows in the 30s, and that's about what you expect in December around here. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. My next video will be Monday morning at 7. We're on the holiday schedule today, so one video per day. But I'll post additional notes again uh, later this afternoon. And if you can't catch us this evening on the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.